Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. This is one thing. When you have a government that I don't know how to, UPND should be called United Pentecostal National Deliverance Ministry. It's a church, it's not a government. If UPND was a government, by now, there was not, there would, there would be nothing like PF. Let me give you an example. The day UPND was leading, election result was not announced yet. Election result was not in yet. Just that it was now clear that HH was winning. The first person that went on his page and apologized to the people of Zambia was Tutu and Glube. He apologized because he was scared because of the things that they committed. He was scared. He was very, very scared because of the things that they committed. Tutwa apologized. The second person that apologized was Freedom Sikazue. And the first person that cried was Eddie Galoni. The second person that cried was Bowman Lusambo. And the list go on. These guys, why were they crying? Why were they shivering? If you watch the, the, the press conference of David Smuela, uh, David, David uh, what is his name? The, the, the former President General of, uh, Secretary General of PF, David Smuela, is it David Smuela or what, what? The one I posted this video. He was shivering. Those days, immediately H H won election. If you see them, they used to shiver. You know, they used to shiver. They were afraid. David Smila said, "If we lose election, all of us are going to jail." These guys were afraid. Now we ushered in a government that we thought was a government, not knowing that we were bringing a church. We were ushering in Jesus Christ and His disciples. The ones that know how to forgive. The ones that know how to pray. The ones that will make heaven. We brought them into power. Thinking that they are going to come and handle these criminals. They came and started preaching. <laughs> do you preach to criminals? I mean, do you, do you preach to criminals? Do you preach to devil? If devil was going to repent, he was going to be repented by now. Devil can never repent. We ushered in a government that is more holier than Holy Spirit. When almost all the ministers and the appointee of the, of the president are corrupt human beings. I don't want to go into that details. I am coming for that. I don't, that one I'm coming. You came in, instead of taking care of criminals, you allow them. Now they have regrouped. They have regrouped. Now they are very strong. Stronger than you. They, I've never seen an opposition party that is taking a whole government from court to court, from police to police, from here to here. They are not playing with a whole government institution. They take a whole government carry them, they go to high court, win them in high court, go to court court. They actually decide the court that they will be taken to. Have you ever seen a government like this one? So that's what I'm saying. It's a church, United Pentecostal National Deliverance Minister, UPND. That's what it stands for, nothing else. United Pentecostal National Deliverance Ministry. That's what it is. 
If not, I've never seen. All of a sudden, these guys are now strong. Look at Boman Lusambo. That was crying like a baby. Boman Lusambo that was supposed to be in prison today. is the one that was challenging the president. Telling the president that you are going to meet me in, 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 a, in a Kabushi. I will show you that I'm a bulldozer. And the, a whole president responding to an entity like a, like a Boman Lusambo. Responding to an idiot that was supposed to be in prison. The, uh, like I said before. This is a straightforward case. Boman Lusambo, so long as the name was mentioned, there was no need for investigation. This is a murder case. Once arrested, it's not bailable. At least Boman Lusambo will be there until the Abushi election is done. Then he, maybe UPN, UPND wins it and Boman Lusambo dies politically. You didn't arrest him. You left him. Today, the person who was crying like a baby yesterday is the one now challenging the president. And UPND is running up and down like a chicken without head. You don't know what to do. You take over power. You want to turn Zambia to, to, to church. You want to rule Zambia with Ten Commandments. Eh? That is not even the case. Like I said, as we speak today, as we talk today, we no longer have uh, we no longer have um, power on social media look what is happening when i post something see how pf guys come are you aware that today something that was supposed to make every zambian happy every zambian was supposed to be jumping and shouting hallelujah today being a christian nation because the richest guy in the world Elon Musk, the richest guy in the world, Elon Musk, through the visit of uh, President H.H. to America, or where he, where he is now, with Jito, that man has agreed to come and invest in Zambia. Do you know how many billions that is coming to Zambia? I mean, when a whole area, the richest man, is, he even tweeted it on his own Twitter. Say, I can't wait to come and invest in Zambia. Look, this was supposed to be in, on all the whole social media page. Muebantu, Zambia Report, uh, Smart Eagle, Watchdog, Kosue. Everywhere it was, there was going to be a very big celebration. This is a milestone achievement. But it has died. No one is talking about it. Because of what? We have lost information as UPNG. Any, any, any page you go to, hey, lesbian. Any, any group you go to, hey, lesbian. Hey, homosexual. Hey, this. Hey, that. Forgetting that today, HH has achieved. HH has scored one of the biggest achievements in the history of Zambia. But who is talking about it? No one is talking about it. Elon Musk is on his way coming to Zambia. Elon Musk is on his way coming to Zambia. But who is talking about it? No one. Because PF have managed to capture the social media page. They, they now give people the type of information that they want to hear. When you hear somebody like uh, Antonia. Antonia that was right running up and down. He was hiding. Today he has come out. Because they have seen that, they have seen that UPND government is weak. Nothing is going to happen. I have seen a, a campion go saying, we challenge you to show us the thieves. That, this is a rubbish, rubbish. This is, if this was a, if I knew that this is the type of leadership we are bringing into power, I, I was never going to support it. Because this is a, a, a why? We should, uh, HH is Jesus Christ, the forgiver, together with his uh, uh, ministers as the disciple. You came to forgive, you forgave criminals. Why Jesus didn't forgive Satan? Why didn't forgive Satan? Eh? Judas Iscariot sold Jesus and betrayed Jesus. When they came and took Jesus, 
and they crucified Jesus. He realized that what he did was bad. He repented and took the money and, and, and gave it away. He didn't use the money. Even if everything that he did, he regretted it. He was not forgiven. He still committed suicide and went to hell. So you think that you are better than Jesus, leaving your enemies behind in the name of prayer. You are making a very big mistake. Let me tell you what is going to happen. Now, as we are talking, it doesn't concern me. PF have taken over. At, before now, I think it was a, a day before inauguration. Somebody came and said, ha, is it possible that uh, PF can come back to power? I said they can. It's very possible. 100% possible they can. With the type of leadership that we have in Zambia today, these guys can come back at any time. Because as we speak today, they have planted the issue of gay, gay, gay in, in the mind of people. And this is Zambia is, is a very uh, Zambia is a very sensitive country. When you talk about foreigners mistreating them or foreigners getting their money, you talk about issue of gay. You talk about when you mention these two things, they can shock you. They can shock you. Now. PF have prepared an agenda that IMF have come to rule Zambia. Many people are not happy. And there is no information passing out from the Ministry of Information and from the government telling the people the role of IMF in government. People believe to say, ah, now IMF have come to take over. No information at all at all. Just like I'm, just like I'm, I'm from saying now, just like I'm from, I'm, I'm from talking now, Hedgehead have secured a very big investment coming to Zambia from Elon Musk. The Minister of Information does not even know who is Elon Musk. Ask her who is Elon Musk and she will tell you, I don't know. Then she's the Minister of Information. How are you going to pass information to people when you don't have information? Eh? So are we playing? Are we joking? The way it is, the way things are going, it will be impossible for UPND to finish one term. I'm saying it will be impossible for UPND to finish one term. The way things are going, it will be very difficult because they don't have information. All the people that HH has employed are after their stomach. Nothing else. They just want to eat. They just want to eat nothing else no one is willing to share information no one is willing to pass information they just want to eat that is why in a country where the youths cried they needed a fresh breath they gathered together and put in a government that they thought would favor the youth that same government came into power and they decided not to work with the youths. Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. All of you are hearing about fertilizer deal that is going on now. Eh? Fertilizer deal that is going on now. Youths of Zambia heard that there is an opportunity for us to tender and win so that when we win we can remember the people that work with us the people that campaign with us they went and borrowed money they went from here to here here from here looking for money and they borrowed money when they borrowed money they prepared all the documents and they submitted when they submitted out of all the hundreds of companies that submitted 10 of them won and they said okay each person from this youth and from these people that have won is going to take care of one province very good 
This youth went ahead to go to the bank and borrow money. The youth went ahead, went to the bank and borrowed money. And, you know, trying to start facilitating. The Ministry of Agriculture came back and said, no, there was corruption in this tender. So therefore, all the tender cancelled. These youths are now waiting for the day they will call them to say, Come and resubmit your tender again. Come and resubmit your tender again. What did we hear last Sunday? On Sunday, the government that the youths voted for carried the same fertilizer deal and gave it to the Chinese and gave it to Indians and gave it to Mr. Ibrahim which happened to be a very close friend to President HH and carried the deal and gave to Alpha Commodity the husband to the wife of the information minister now tell me the corruption that we fought in pf has he not come back in with full force it has even come worse <laughs> it has come that's what i'm saying if this thing that goes through if mr uh, uh the owner the 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 what is his name uh, mr ibrahim the friend to the president gets this tender. Chinese get this tender. Indians get this tender. And the alpha commodity get this tender. The ministry and the minister of agriculture that has already collected bribe. I want to tell you that you have declared the war. And you are going to fight it. We fought for the youth the reason why we fought for the youth is that so that these youth will come and they have something give to the community and give to the people last year alpha commodity was given a tender single-handedly giving a tender to supply fertilizer what 50 million US dollars one man this year again, he has come to win millions of dollars. Is UPND government about alpha commodity? Is it the only one that campaigns? Did we campaign to continue feeding one family? President HH must look at the Ministry of Agriculture. That minister is a corrupt human being. Let the youths enjoy. Let the youths enjoy. I am saying this because the president is not aware. Sometimes when we pass information, he doesn't even know what is going on. The, the Ministry of Agriculture is a very corrupt human being. I said it before. Zambia, there is a way you behave. Now that the minister, the minister of information is eating millions of dollars corrupt millions of dollars you are not talking about persecution when he finished winning this tender and supply this and win these millions of us dollars and eat is with, with his family if we come back tomorrow with a different government and that man is arrested you will say he said this is a is being persecuted it's a persecution before you talk about persecution stop it now stop it now i love you pnd i fought with my blood for you pnd because i believe that this was the right party the party that there is no corruption in it but the corruption i'm seeing right now what i what i saw in pf is nothing it's better we we'll fight it now, early, 
and put things together before things get out of hand. I'm telling you the gospel truth. There is no way youths who are struggling to survive we, we scamper to win tender. You come and cancel it and put foreigners and put friends of the president and put alpha commodity. Alpha commodity, my food. Alpha commodity. Did we suffer for him? How many times did he come to campaign when a church was campaigning? When a church was being shot at, when, when youths we are, we are guiding a church in the compounds, trying to take bullets for a church. Where are you? You have come to win. Look, look the enemy government. We are not fools. We are not fools. When Ed, when uh, uh, Edgar Lungu got into power, the first scandal he made was the um, purchasing of fire truck. And we talked, and we talked, and we talked, and we talked. And that I know people forgot it. People, people forget it. People forget it. I even said it. I told, I told the people, even Eddie Galungi himself, said, "This, let's clear this issue. This thing is going to come back and hurt. It will hurt you." No, no, don't worry. People will forget. The people of Zambia, they easily forget. The time of election. The, everybody kept quiet. Nobody talked about it. The time of election, they came, we came with it. We, we expanded it. We held on to it and pounded and pounded until we made sure that everyone saw the corruption in PF. You see this issue of fertilizer. If you go ahead and give it to your friends, you go ahead and give it to Chinese, Using this uh, by Z direct and so on and so forth. That was speaking rubbish the other day. If you go ahead and do this, believe me, you will regret. Do the right thing. Now that now you play the government, do the right thing. Now that there is no fire on the mountain. When fire on the mountain starts, Obasanjo will not save you. Anglo America will run away. All your friends will leave you. You will die in jail. I know what I'm talking about. Do the right thing now. Let the, 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 this young man that suffered be given something out of that life. Let them be given something. Not only that, there is a lot and a lot of unbelievable things going on that I don't want to come and talk about it here. Because if I talk about it here, what is wrong? Is this what we fought for? Eh? Tell me the mechanism that Alpha Commodity is using to win this contract. What millions? Eh? Tell me. T just mention. Tell me the, the, the medium that is using to win this tender. Tell me the kind of God is serving. Even if he's using do as I say. The worst part is that you decide to work with stingy people. UPND government is a stingy, it's a stingy government. And everyone is stingy. Everyone just wants to eat alone. No one wants to eat with his friends. Everyone just wants to live, eat alone. That's why today, if you if UPND government, if somebody dies, a UPND member. You go there, what you eat is carpenter. What you eat, don't expect anything more than carpenter. A party in government that the people that were campaigning for them were eating carpenter. Food soldiers were hungry. Many of them are still being old. Money was not given to them. A party in government. The reason is very simple. You chose to work with stingy people. Alpha commodity is making millions upon millions of dollars, billions of quarter. How much is he limiting to the party? How much is he bringing? All the people that they are giving contract, all the people that they are giving position, how much are they giving to the party? 
the white man, the Muzungu, you, you, you used to make your DMMU chairman. I never saw him during the time of campaign. Something like somebody like that never existed. All these guys were just in their bedrooms enjoying immediately one election. Then you come and bring them. You appointed them. They don't know what the party went through and they don't know how to run the party and they are selfish so therefore what do they do they get money for their family they are not putting money in the party UPN is broke it's broke it's a broke party there is no money in UPN it's broke at try and attend UPN the barrier you lost election in Luanga PF was not a party in power but they took care of their members they took care of their cadres they gave them food your your own people party in power your own people party in power was eating carpenter and you think you can finish one thing if you continue like this you are you if you you will not let me tell you what will happen you see as it stands today eh? I have received a lot of messages from PF, not only PF. The socialite party you are seeing today, there is, I've received messages. See one, come and join us. See one, come and help us. I'm not going to leave you, PND. I'm going to support you. But let me show you what is going to happen. If today, member humble himself, KBF humble himself. Join hand with PF. You playing this gun. I swear. Take my word. If today member humble himself, KBF humble himself. All of them join hand with PF. You playing this gun. Because on the ground, on the ground. There is no UPN. There is nothing like UPN. If a whole president would go to Copper Belt and campaign for five days, going into people's house one after the other, and the response was nothing to write home about, then uh, where are we? Where are we? What is the solution? The solution is UPN. Open your hand. Stop eating alone. You are making deals alone, opening accounts in different countries. Your party members are suffering. This will cost you big, big. I'm telling you, you see what I, you see me, I'm somebody that loves the truth. I don't just come and tell you, no, everything is okay. Things are not okay. Things are not okay. The first mistake you made was allowing PF to gain ground. Today, PF, even the people that want to leave PF, they don't want to leave again. They are now seeing hope in PF. That's why they are insulting me up and down. They are insulting me everywhere. That's why in, in all the groups, I don't know how they manage to capture everywhere. They are in charge. Exclusive. all right that's all right for you today lovely viewers if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below i'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers once again i go by the name of mutatim pondum i love you peace i gotta go